Lawrence Jose. I'm an electrical engineering student at the University of Houston, and this is a project I did over my winter break. This is a control systems project that focuses on stability, output feedback, and PID control. Here we have a parallax PNG ultrasonic sensor that provides output feedback into the microcontroller. An HS485 HP servo motor that acts as our actuator. A wooden ball that we are trying to balance at a specific, po specific point. And a potentiometer that allows us to set where we want the ball to balance. This is a block diagram representation of our control system. Our set point, which is our input, is provided into the microcontroller, which can be seen here in the dashed line, via the potentiometer. The microcontroller then outputs an angle, which is fed into the ball and beam model, that translate into a ball position. This ball position is read via the ultrasonic sensor, which then feeds that back into the microcontroller. What's going on inside the microcontroller is we're taking the input and the output and we're taking the difference. This difference is known as the error. If the ball position is where we have set the position, then the error will be zero. If the ball is anywhere else that is not the set point, the error will be non-zero. This error is fed into our PID control algorithm. This PID control algorithm computes a new angle to try to reduce this error to zero. This new angle then is fed again into the ball and beam model, which produces an output that is again read into via the ultrasonic sensor that is then fed back into the microcontroller. On the bottom, if we take our output to be y of t and our input to be x of t, in this case a constant input, our output versus input may look something like this, where the input starts high because the ball enters from the longest part of the rail and it settles over time. It does have some overshoot, which then is fed back into the microcontroller. The PID controls a new, uh, computes a new angle, and then that overshoot, the PID tries to compensate for that overshoot and eventually settles down to zero. Let's play with it a few more times because it's so cool. Thank you for watching, my name is Jose. I really enjoyed working on this project. And I, would de I definitely learned a lot about uh, control systems and how to implement them on embedded systems. I'll post my code on my GitHub account. Hopefully it'll help any of you guys trying to work on similar projects. And um, please stay tuned. I'll definitely try to work on more projects. And there's definitely more to come. Thank you.